Quick audio check, quick check. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, sorry that I'm a little bit late, I was having tech issues, and um, right like two minutes ago I heard like a thump outside my house and I was like, oh shit, like what's going on? But um, cause we have like, um, a water, not a fire engine, but it's like just a, somewhere where water comes out that the public will use, and like, city workers were just testing it, so I was like, okay, it's like, thank god nothing happened, but yeah, I just had to check in on that. Um, I wanted to have like a chill day today because weekend was kind of sus, so we're gonna do more Stardew Valley, which, which we were gonna do anyway, but you know, it's kind of like nice to have like a more chill game today, like that's, that's what I need. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, why did that move? There we go, okay. <laughs> Let me fix- okay, that's good. That's- I think that's fine. Okay. So, last week we ended off on finishing winter and then going into the first day of spring. Okay, so it's gonna be a mad rush today, getting all our seeds planted, making sure we have enough 
land tilled. Okay, they're just talking about new seeds. So what we first need to do is go. Ooh. Oh, it's Kent. Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Nice. I don't think I've unlocked. Ah, capitalism prices are increasing. Our gas is now $70 a gallon. <laughs> um, I haven't unlocked any cutscenes for Ken, I don't think, in my other saves. But now that it's year two, I think we're gonna go ahead and start gifting gifts on Tuesdays and Fridays. Because I find that's the days in which more people are in town. That way you spend a lot less time just walking around, visiting houses and such. Yeah, let's get this one started. Is this mission you have to find like the leaks or something? Oh, okay, so what we need to do for that mission, they're a bit harder to find foraging. So I think it'll be good to just plant some of the spring seeds. Oh my fucking god, I forgot it's closed. I should have tilled, I should have tilled first. I totally forgot. I'm wasting two hours right now. This is not good, not good. Because I believe we got all the seasonal fish already. I'm actually going to zoom out my camera a little bit. Fix that real quick. Okay, that's a little better. That way my head doesn't get chopped off. Okay. Back to the game. Yeah, we'll start doing questions once we start tilling the fields. But we can go ahead and answer this one. What was an unspoken scandal in your town when you're growing up? I would talk about it, but like I don't want to dox where I live. So we're not going to. <laughs> Perfecto. Okay, let's go. We'll get our seeds. I'm trying to think. I think I just want to get six. All flowers are definitely bomb. I mean, cool. Probably need like 20 of these. Um, flowers are kind of mid. Ooh. Let's get like at least five of each flower. The marker is blocking it. So we got 29, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5. Garlic seeds. Rice? Do we really need rice? I have rice seeds at home. Plus 5. 60 of those. 60 parsnips. Parsnips. 
Because if I like... I kind of want to save 10k. Ooh, that's a lot of fucking cauliflower. <laughs> Let's buy more kale. <laughs> but I want to go buy some animals. Because I know Marnie's not going to be in the shop tomorrow. Because I don't remember how much a pig was. Oh, she's not in the fucking store. Never mind. Never mind. Just fuck it, dude. Like, I can't buy feed, I can't buy animals. That's dumb, dude. She's not gonna be there tomorrow either. I'm gonna work on clearing this. Oh my god, there's so much shit. I'm gonna work on clearing this out first before I tend to the farm. Or the barns, rather. Like, I am tending to the farm right now. <laughs> uh, okay. And this is a lot. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh is still my favorite meme to say. Let's grab another question while we're here. What's the most recent life lesson you learned? Oh, let's see. I gotta think about this one. Like, I can't really say a meanie answer for this one, you know? I think... I've learned a lot about, like, just putting myself out there. And you also learn, like, who's gonna support you in that sense. And not that, like, one friend is better than the other, it's more like, you really see who wants to, like, encourage you to, like, do better, I guess. I'm not saying that you need to, like, cut people off who aren't supportive, but you kind of get to see more insight in their character. It's so, like, satisfying to play this part, because the mechanics are so simple in terms of, like, button pressing. So nice. It's always so hard to, like, figure out the most efficient way to do hoeing. I think this right- oh, right, I fucked it up! I think this is the most, like, efficient pattern. So, like, translate one, rotate up, rotate down. Cause, like, whenever I do things, I always want to try and find the most efficient way of doing it. That's why, like, I- I learned how to do presets in Adobe Premiere. So, kinda like, for example, if you're cropping, like, your canvas, or like your video file you can save presets that way like if you're doing batches like for example if you're editing like gameplay it'll automatically have like your saved settings for translating or cropping and oh my god it's a lifesaver oh my goodness go ahead plant some fertilizer i don't know how important fertilizer is because with my crops i usually will uh, oh, let's see. Is there a fertilizer? I think that... What's growth rate? Is that like the speed? Oh, it's called speed growth. <laughs> okay. okay. So that's for seed. Yeah. Because, like, I want something that increases, like, the number of potatoes I harvest, I guess would be a good way to say it. I think you do, you potentially can unlock that skill when you get higher level in farming, I think it is, where, like, crops have a chance of producing multiples. I think that's where it is. I, that might have been where I saw it instead. Yeah. 
Yeah, because like the first day of every season is just like a mad rush to get shit done. Okay, let's get the beans first, because like those are the easiest to fuck up. Fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna plant the potatoes because those are those resurface. Oh, let's do the flowers first. Because ideally, you should plant your flowers by the hives. That way, you can have some nice honey. Okay, the so potatoes reproduce, so we'll put those over here by our beans. And then the cauliflower up here to get those started. Oh, we lagged. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Let's get another question. How much damage could your best friend do to you if you ever had a falling out? What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean, like, do they have dirt on me? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't want to think about, like, friends bailing. I don't want to think about that, dude. I think, what would they say? What, what shit would they have on me? I think, honestly, like, to be real, I'm a total flake. Like, I'm really flaky on stuff. Mainly because just, like, anxiety kicks in. And, like, that really bothers me. I'm gonna swap these because I forgot that they should be fairly close to each other. Like, I'm kind of a flake. Let's be honest, guys. I think for this one, it's best just to go up and down. What what other dirt would they have on me? That I'm a flake? But that I'm too nice? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not nice to leak, like, really personal stuff. That'd be, like, messed up. I think it's funny because, like, the question is, like, kind of in incentivizing you to, like, leak on your own. <laughs> it's like, why don't you just leak yourself before your friend could? <laughs> like, in the same time that I'm, like, a flake, I'm very pushy sometimes. Like, the way I word things, like, I know, like, how to say things to <laughs> make people get, do what I want, I guess. Because, like, it's just knowing basic communication. Which, granted, it did take a while to, like, learn how to talk in that way or have that type of demeanor with certain things. I guess they could say that I'm like a manipulative bitch. I don't know. How many more do I need? Two, four, six, seven. Seven. There we go. Ah, I fucked up. Oh, there's a train. I don't know if y'all can hear that unless I talk. If you can't, that's cool. I wonder what new plant was for spring. Was there? Is artichoke during summer? I probably have spring seeds 
I need to check the museum. Too. Um. I think I had rice seeds too. Oh yeah, I had rice. And then... Okay, coffee is during summer. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I think... Tomorrow I want to go to the museum, process some geodes, and then... Um, what you call it? What you call it? And like, pick up my seeds for the museum because I, I don't pick things up for the museum unless I absolutely need to. Because I don't like having too much stuff in my inventory if I don't need to, you know? Okay, so let's go check on our farm animals. Because, you know, we should feed them every day, right? Oh my god, the ducklings are so cute. I want to, like, learn how to do Vix Alert. I think it'd be really fun to do. But you have to have a good understanding of translating really basic f or complex forms into, like, basic shapes. Oh, this is- this area is really fucked. Let's try and clear this out, like, a little bit. It's a little bit better. And then you also have a good, like, I have to have a good idea of like how to emulate shades and highlights. Ooh, got lots of preserves, did? I must have forgot to check these the other day because. Usually not all of them are ready at the same time. I probably did forget a day. Oh, we should also check- Okay, so tomorrow I kind of want to go to the museum, pick up some items, and then... The rest of the day, go chop some wood, because we desperately need wood. Oh, that's an egg, huh? There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's one o'clock! Okay, we're gonna put our seeds in here, because I don't know where to put them. So remind me. Let's go sell our shit. Ready for the next day. Okay, so if we're going to the museum, we definitely donate these things. And then see if we can get more seeds for them. Any of these new? Ah, okay. Well, cool. ready for tomorrow. We can also deliver presents tomorrow, too. I gotta think of what I want to get. Ooh, 7k, baby! <laughs> Look what that mission is. Fish stew. We can drop off that iron bar for Clint. 
Void Essence. Okay, Iron Bar. Void Essence. And then Amethyst. So we'll see most everyone today. Caroline wants a pumpkin. Pumpkin melon. Pumpkin melon. Pumpkin melon. Pumpkin melon. Do I have it? Oh, I don't. Okay. And then what can we gift? We have a lot of have a lot of anything really we got a lot of corn let's let's give people corn okay they sell fertilizer we don't need that we literally don't need that oh my god they're so cute So then Wednesday, we can go ahead and see Um, I blanked, I blanked for a second. But we can go see if- Oh fuck, I did not mean to drink that! Frick! Oh yeah, we need to go get wood. <laughs> I'm like out of it today, man. He wanted leaks, right? Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they don't spawn very often, so we're probably gonna have to plant some spring seeds. Corn suck. I've never. I don't think I've gotten any cutscenes for. I'm gonna move the corn up to my top inventory. There we go. Oh, fuck, we need to keep that. There we go. I don't think I've gotten any cutscenes for the dwarf. For the elf. Elven. I think it's an elf. I only had the cutscene when he was with the wizard. Oh yeah, they want milk. I mean, should I bring milk one day? Oh, do you like it? He's got another question. What's, just, what's an interesting fact you've learned recently? Hmm. Why is no one here? Oh, okay. He's there. Oh, they're just in their rooms. He wanted a melon. Ooh. See if I can give him a corn too. Double dipping. Interesting fact. I don't fucking read. <laughs> I don't read shit, dude. I don't read books. I'm just trying to think of like something I've learned recently in school. I don't know. I can't like pinpoint anything. Get another question queued up. What piece of art have the had a large impact on you? I think not like this isn't like historical art, but like an artist that I really like 
Oh, what's their name? They just posted a piece of art on Twitter. Their name- oh, it's Xandra Art. It found her stuff on Tumblr initially a couple years ago. And she does, like, illustrative landscape, typically. And the, the strokes that she use are really expressive and, like, there's a lot of movement. It looks almost whimsical. It's really pretty. Like, her artwork is always my <laughs> phone lock screens and stuff. You know what's here? I wonder where Caroline- Caroline is usually in the library or in the store on Tuesdays. Let's give those kids some fucking corn. <laughs> this isn't very fun. I love giving people stuff they don't like. Because the dialogue is so funny. <laughs> I know the kids like fruits and gems. But I don't have any gems right now. Oh, this is cute. Oh no, where am I gonna put shit now? I hate- I wish we could move- Is there a way to like move items once you place them in the museum? I was like, where am I gonna put this chicken? It doesn't fit anywhere. Gosh, D-O-M. I also flubbed and put something like yellow in the orange section. That was upsetting. I molded for a little bit. Let's see if they got any seeds. Ooh, more cauliflower. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these so I don't forget them. Everything else is more decorative, so I don't really necessarily need them. As of right now. I know Clint wanted his iron bar. It Aki. Oh, he does not want that. I mean, he is a miner. He might know what the Void Essence is. Yeah, I should go to the shop while all the ladies are there, exercising. Because otherwise today would have been a flop. Oh, did Clint need the Amethyst too? Oh, he does not like corn? Really? Kinda sus, dude. I mean, I, I hate corn too, so like, I get it, but also I don't. Like, I grew the corn just for him, even though literally everyone else got <laughs> corn too. It's not special, but you know. Okay, Emily is the crystal mommy, right? Yeah, Clint's going for Emily, but he's too much of a pussy to, like, actually give her gifts himself. Oh, I- <laughs> You got it at Clint? Bitch, I mind that myself. Oh, Carol Caroline into the pumpkin. There we go, okay. Now the only mission I have left is to give the Wizard of White Essence. Nice. Checking off all the boxes today. Now we just gotta go in here. Give Gus? I think his name is Gus. Yeah, because Linus is the homeless guy. I always get their names mixed up, because they have the us at the end, I think it is. <laughs> He's got another question, Kido. <laughs> what do you secretly hoard? A lot of things. Um... When I was little, I used to collect stuff. Like, when Littlest Pet Shops were, like, big, oh my god, I wanted all of them. Because I'm the kind of person, like, if I get one thing, I have to get them all. Like, the nail polish, I, I have one brand that's, like, my own that I bought myself. It's Hollow Taco. 
I love it. The formula is really nice. If I ever get sponsored, I would die of happiness. Not, <laughs> not die because of the product. But like, I love the formula a lot. How much, how much bait do I have? But like, I bought one set that had like six bottles. And now I'm like, I need to get every color. I need to. I, I have maybe <laughs> 30 bottles. Like 30 different colors. I have silver right now. Um, but I'm at the point where like, I should not be buying more. I do not need more. Okay, I guess he doesn't like corn. Are we- have we gone in the sewer yet? Oh no, we haven't unlocked the sewer yet, Sag. Emily might be here or she's by the comm center? No, oh, she's not here. That- Emily is like- it took me a long time to figure out her, like, rotation. Ah, uh, they're not home. Kent, I think his name was? Just came to town yesterday, but I totally forgot his name. Your door is probably gonna be locked. Ah, we're not friends yet. Sad. Right, he's gonna be at the shop because he got that 9 to 5. Big grind set. Oh, but what do we hoard now? Um, I think weird stuff. I have a lot of craft things, like art supplies. I know, because I have some stuffed animals right here. If I, like, have extra money to spend, I would buy way too many, like, Pokemon plushies. Mainly because, like, they're so cute. And I'm like, I need to get them all. <laughs> Like, when we went on the Japan trip, we didn't get to go to the Pokemon store because we didn't have time, but I really wanted to go, but thank god I did not go because I would have just, like, <laughs> bought everything. Oh yeah, the trees are growing! Okay, cool. So now I know that I can plant trees here. Really good. See, yeah, nothing is grown by now. Yeah, if I- oh, when I was, like, into Hayaku, I wanted to buy like the Nendoroid figurines, like I was so close to buying one, but I knew because I was gonna buy the Hinata one, and I was I like I had it in the cart. I was getting my card out of my wallet, but I was like, no, I do not need this. I do not need to spend sixty bucks on this. But I was like, if I buy one, I'm gonna want to buy all like the different clothing sets. I'm gonna want to buy the other figurines. So I was like, no, I'm gonna demonstrate self control. Because, like, this is why, like, I do not want to start collecting stuff again. Because, like, it's really cool. I think it's fun to collect things. Like, it's very satisfying to, like, add something to your collection. But you're never going to be, like, happy with what you have. You're always going to want to, like, add more to it, I guess. What do I have a lot of? Nothing weird. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that's like kind of obscure. Like it's all kind of normal shit. It's got another question, Kina. What was something when you were learning it you thought you'd never use it, but in reality you ended up using it a lot? Ooh. I'm trying to think of, like, skills. I think, because when I was in high school, I took a graphic design class. It was kind of mid, nothing too crazy. But, like, we had a two-week part of the class where, like, we learned how to use Microsoft programs. So, like, Microsoft Word, Excel, those type of things. Oh, there's Leo. Okay. Give her some corn. She's a vegan vegetarian. Fucking libtard. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so we had like a two week lesson to which we were learning how to use Microsoft software and I got certification in it, meaning you just had to take a test and get like a 60% on it and then you're set. And then you get a nice little certificate saying you know how to use basic Microsoft programs. I mean, it looks good on the resume. So just based on that like simple skill set, 
like I know the basics of just manipulating the software and also getting used to like learning how to use hotkeys and shortcuts was definitely helpful. Kind of like how I was talking about earlier, like I know how to use presets on Adobe Premiere, which is a lifesaver. And also you can make like presets in like Adobe Photoshop too. You can also make brushes. There's a lot you can do with those premium softwares. And definitely look up some tutorials as well if anyone has a chance. I haven't played this game in a week and I feel like rusty almost. Because when this first came out, I played it every day for hours on end. Because I have two other saves that I've done that are for off stream. And like, I like, it's kind of boring once you beat the comm center because it's kind of like, what do you do now, you know? But. Uh, I blanked, anyway. But like, I think it's fun to like just start new saves and like start from the beginning. It's like the grind set of like year one is really fun to me. I know it was kind of trendy. To, like drink from mason jars but it's actually really nice to have like you know the powdered drinks that you put in like uh, water bottles it's about the same like liquid ounces as one of those bottles and it's a lot easier to shake and you don't have to waste water bottles every time you make a powdered drink kind of cool and we'll clear this out another night because it's already 11. Let's see, so not a lot of trees grew, unfortunately. Kinda sucks. Oh, we need to get more coal, so we need to mine sometime soon. <laughs> I hate Linus. <laughs> So much. <laughs> I think Linus is a hermit living in a tent. Is that just what you spam everywhere? That's the funniest shit, man. <laughs> Got a Linus hater in chat. Linus is okay. His cutscenes are kind of cute, but otherwise kind of mid. But hello, Chong Chump. Hope you're doing well today. So you wanted to get something out, you know, that's fine. Bent. Relatively. Not too much, but it'd be kind of nice, you know? Uh, I need to get another great suit. Let's just put these in here for now. Okay. I need to organize my crates better as well. I kind of want to have them a bit more centralized here. Like, I think it'd be better if I put them down here instead. I'll probably move that another day. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't find many leaks, unfortunately. Oh, it's raining. New. Yeah. Hey, let's hope Marnie's at her stupid shop today. It's stupid how they say we're open every day, but they're not there every day. It's fucking bullshit. Ooh. Good morning. I hope it's not too early. Well, just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. 
I need so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We've been honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Ooh. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. Nice. And that's for the sewer, I believe. So we can start befriending the sewage guy. We also need to make sure we buy more feed. Because I need to have pigs. I have absolutely none. That way we can have truffles. By the time winter comes. Nothing's ready. Sad. And nothing should be growing by now. Honey's not ready either. Okay. I kind of want to clear out my farm area a bit. That way I can get more wood. And then hopefully be able to upgrade the home. Once I have enough wood gathered. We're not going to be able to upgrade our house. We're going to buy more animals. That's okay. I'm not too worried about upgrading the house. We just have to make sure that gets done by winter if we're going to be calm center. You need to cook stuff. If she's not here, I will scream. Come on! I wanna get that Blockbuster deals! Black Friday! Oh, thank god! Ooh, 16k for a fucking pig? I should also build fences for my animals, huh? I'll do that one day. Just keep it cooped up inside for now. I have just enough for a rabbit. Okay, sheeps are fucking dumb. They don't drop anything else besides the wool. So I usually get rabbits instead. Oh, they're the same price? I was gonna say, I think the rabbit's cheaper, but they're exactly the same price. Okay, so once we have the rabbit, then we'll literally have one of every animal. Minimum. <laughs> Jeppo! We broke now. You're looking like my bank account, man. It's nine o'clock. I kind of want to go mining the rest of the day. That way, on the way up, we can see exactly how much wood we need. Oh, I took a tapper off. Shit. Okay, it's got another question queued up. What's something that you believe you'll never be able to do well? Dancing. I cannot do it. I bet if I, like, legitimately tried, I could get better. 
Like, I, I said this last time, but, like, I have really good, like, finger dexterity. But, like, the rest of my body I cannot control very well. <laughs> I hear the trash, man. But they were supposed to come by Friday, so why the fuck are they here today? I think, also, like, art-wise, I'm not very good with, like, hyper-realism or realistic renders. That's something that I've struggled with. Mainly because when you're developing an image, it takes a while to get it fully rendered. So, like, when you're, like, doing, like, initial sketches, it's gonna look bad. It's gonna look like crap, right? Because it's not done. But to me, it's very discouraging looking at in-progress work and knowing that it's gonna take A, a like, a long time to get to a final render, and then B, my render is not gonna look that good because I don't want to invest that time. Because... Art is a skill, right? It's developed over time. Like, the more you do it theoretically, the better it will get. It's not like you're born a Picasso, right? I forgot to check the store! Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I said we're gonna check Robin's house to see how much the house costs. Once we get done with this level, we'll go check. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll ever be good with, like, how- Also, working with paint is so difficult. Like, getting the right colors and shades. Very difficult. Paint mixing is incredibly hard. I also, like, <clears throat> I've considered doing commissions to, like, just get used to, like, working under someone else's, like, ideas per se so in the context of not just me making whatever i want but like following certain specifications because like actual work in the creative field you're usually working for someone else either you're like creating or rendering something for like a company or a fellow creator that type of thing so very not very often you're going to be making what you want so like i just need to get used to like, following a creative brief, taking critiques, that type of thing. My hair is so frizzy right now, I hate it. We're, we're gonna try and keep her down, though. Because I, I need to get used to having my hair down. Because for the longest time, I didn't take care of my hair properly. Oh, fuck. Okay, 10k, 450. That's not bad. I didn't take care of my hair properly, so I have really, like, curly, tight coils. And I wasn't using, like, the right hair conditioner or, like, shampoo, so, like, my hair was really dry. And I, for the longest, because, like, my mom never really, like, taught me how to take care of it. Um. So, like, I finally went to a salon about three four months ago, and the lady was like, Oh my god, <laughs> your hair is so bad! I'm like, yeah, I know. So it was, like, really dry and, like, scratchy, right? But she, like... Cause my hair used to be to here, but she cut off like six inches. So like the hair here is like healthy hair because that's the hair that grew in that time, but the rest of it is still like healing. So like the hair on the top of my head is like really soft, it's like super nice and silky, but the rest of my hair is <laughs> not there yet. So because when we're at the salon, she's like, "Oh, I I have to cut it all off." And I was like, "No, just please do like six inches, please. I don't want to be." Imagine having like really hair in a bob cut that's gonna be like so that's so much maintenance like i don't want to do my hair every day um so like when i go to the salon again because she said i should go in every six months to like get it checked out and i was like okay fine i guess um but we're getting there like i can't wait it's gonna be like a probably a year until like all my hair is healthy and good so like i'm looking forward to that because when my hair was not healthy, like, I hated feeling, like, the hair on my neck because it was, like, itchy and dry, right? But now that I'm using, like, the right product, it feels so nice. So now when I don't have my hair down at home, 
Like, my neck feels cold. <laughs> and before, like, I was just used to my neck feeling cold. Because I could always have my hair up in a pony or a bun. How much coal do we have? Oh, seven, that's... Oh, I need to... Okay, if I'm grinding for coal, I need to go into the ice levels with the fuzzy ball dudes. I forgot. Someone gave me a tip about that last time. But I haven't done that for a bit, so I totally blank. Let's get another question, Kita. What do you find you recently spend a lot of time wondering about? Ooh. Not necessarily wondering, but I spend a lot of time thinking about like what works and what doesn't for like online content because ooh, I don't call myself a fucking streamer because like I don't have I'm not affiliate like <laughs> that's cringe. Um but it's interesting to see like which posts like pop off and which don't. Because a couple weeks ago I started a separate account, exclamation clips in chat, um, where I post like edited, trimmed down um, clips from stream, and I've been posting them on YouTube and TikTok and IG. And it's interesting to see which platforms certain videos do well on. Um, on TikTok, each each video gets like has at least 150 views, which is cool. Especially considering the fact that I don't have much like outside influence because like all the views on TikTok primarily are from like the algorithm and like the for you page like it's insane like I had one that I posted the other day and it's already at 5k views and I was like oh that's insane because like for that one video I gained like four followers which to me is a lot because I'm like if any anything I'll take anything dude like if it brings one person to stream that's pog you know. But then, like, on YouTube or IG, they don't pop off. So, I know, like, algorithms typically will favor content that is shared or commented on because it's also encouraging people to stay on the platform, right? Um, and I know specifically for TikTok, the stuff that pops off is, like, using sounds and then also, like, li like lip sync stuff, which I think is super cringe. I think that type of content is mid. It's not creative, I guess is <laughs> a nicer way to put it. Um, I know the content that I like. I like more hair produced stuff, mainly because like I appreciate it and I kind of understand what it takes to make that type of content. Like this one girl who makes like, kind of like mini original kind of quirky songs, like once every couple weeks. And I love that type of content. She's investing so much time into like a one minute video. Like it's so cool. And there's like <laughs> one video. Is like on YouTube shorts they aren't performing as well. Like one of them got two hundred views and I was like, oh that's cool. When like the others got like zero, so it's like, okay. I'll go on YouTube hates me. But that's fine, I don't care. But I'd rather just like I was talking to my sister about this because like she wants to learn how to edit. And, like, she wants to edit as, like, her main thing. And I was like, you know, if you want to, like, do that, you just have to make stuff and put it out there. Um, but, like, the one that got the second most views on YouTube was, like, the bit of calling Peach, Princess Peach, a libertarian. Because she, in Odyssey, in her cutscene, she talks about, um, what you call it? about like being more like perspective and like letting people into the mushroom kingdom and i was basically goofing that she's a libertarian now like she's more liberal <laughs> she's more open to like immigrants <laughs> like i thought that i thought that was such a funny bit I think it's just interesting to think about, like, what specifically makes certain videos perform well when compared to others. It's not that I'm, like, farming likes hardcore. 
Because that's cringe. I like how you see the post where they're like, Ooh, let's support other people. Like and comment if you want to grow. But to me, those type of videos don't foster real viewers or like people who will actually like and engage with your content. It's kind of like how you see creators with like 5k followers and then only have like 5 viewers in stream. Like, numbers are not everything, I guess. I know I say the lip syncing content is cringe, but I <laughs> I like watching it sometimes. Like, if the person is cute, I'm like, oh, they're cute. <laughs> or, like, their makeup is cool. I just realized for the pig he can only get um truffles outside i'm gonna have to build the fences soon There's probably not going to be any trees grown. I kind of want to just do more mining. Because we for sure need more coal. It's Thursday, so tomorrow we're going to be sending out presents for everybody. Linus message is so fucking funny. I know I know they're probably just going into like random starting chatters and spamming that. But it's funny. <laughs> like I love the post where it's got like way too many emojis. <laughs> like it's just funny because it, it's so cringe. But ultimately it's good content. Because it's making fun of like the boomers who like use way too many emojis. And like I love- the thing I like about like bigger channels chats is the spam. Like just the mindless spam of like random emotes or like phrases is the funny shit. Kind of like how in Conrad's Pants channel how the bit is to like spam anti- like Vax slogans and this is the buddiest thing and like how they use like the Connor emotes so like they'll spam that in other channels so like they just assume that Connor is like anti-Vax and it's the buddiest thing oh <laughs> I think it's also cool and kind of cool how I think it was a while ago like Twitch integrated the chat function to where mods can like make a certain, like, chat phrase a chant. It's like, it's like, go, Megan, go! Like, they can make that a chant. That way people just spam just that. Because, like, the thing I'm kind of looking forward to, if I ever, like, grow bigger, is, like, the chat culture change. Because when you're small, it's more focused on, like, the one-to-one -one interactions. But like, the thing I like about bigger chats is usually people like trolling or just making jokes. And it's funny to see like which messages they choose to acknowledge. Like usually negatives will bait content, right? But like, trolls and stuff is so funny. Because like my own chat, chat style is like kind of like jokey, kind of trolly. 
but I know that will only work in smaller chats because they like know me individually and like they know that I'm goofing, right? But like in larger channels, they don't know who you are. So like if you pop in and like your first message is like a trolley joke, they're gonna like think you're a hater and then clap you, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Mainly just thinking about like algorithms and like different like cultures within different communities in terms of like YouTube or like Twitch stuff. Cause like it's fun to see like patterns. I guess. Let's get another question queued up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Which situation is trying to make you cry? Um, as of recent. I've noticed that I've become, like, a lot more, I guess, empathetic and emotional. Like, if I'm watching, like, a movie or a video and the person is crying, I will cry. And, like, if I'm watching, like, like, a movie movie, and as I said earlier, I really appreciate, like, really nice renders or, like, really artsy shots. Like, sometimes, if, like, the shot is, like, really pretty or, like, the actor is, like, giving... Just a really, like, heartfelt, emotional performance, and it's not supposed to be sad. Like, I would just cry because, like, in my head, like, I disconnect, like, the character that they're portraying, and then I also think about, like, the actor and, like, all the work they put into, like, mastering that performance. Like, all the hard work and hours they put into it. Like, I just cry <laughs> in, I guess, admiration because it's so cool. <laughs> Like, I think the, la the last movie I saw in theaters was Sonic, and then the movie before that was Frozen 2. And I- I cried. <laughs> like, started tearing up when Elsa was singing Into the Unknown. Mainly because, like, we were in the backpack, so, like, the speakers were, like, the loudest they could be to us. But, like, also, it was such, like, an emotional <laughs> performance. Because there was, like, so much, like, emotion in the song. And, like, I'm just thinking about, like, the vocalist, like, singing their heart out in the vocal booth. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I started crying. My sister looks at me. She's like, why are you crying? I'm like, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> or, like, also, like, if I get, like, mad, mad. Like, if I get, like, upset, upset, like, I don't yell. I don't throw shit. Like, that's not cool. But, like, I will just cry because it's just, like, so overwhelming, I guess. To an extent. Like, I'm just, like, overcome with emotion and I don't know how to handle it. Like, if I'm mad, I'll cry. I know it may seem like a defense mechanism. I just don't know how to handle emotions properly sometimes. That's all it is. Get another question. What's your opinion on tattoos? I think they're cool. Um... I think they're really pretty. It also is kind of cool to me how there's like tattoo artists, so like people will go to certain parlors just to get an artist's work. I think that is really cool. Um, just not for me. I don't like the permanence of it sometimes. Because like, not that like I'll grow out of it, because if you're willing to like spend the time and money and like thought of like getting an image tattooed on yourself for like a word it definitely was like meaningful to you at the time but i think like regretting it is also kind of like invalidating your feelings at the time when you got it so it's not necessarily that it's just it's also kind of like why i don't want to get a piercing mainly because like the permanence of it like they're cool but, like, the maintenance of it is kind of, like, not for me, I guess. Kind of like how I didn't take care of my hair for the longest time. Like, I don't like <laughs> taking care of myself, I guess. I don't know. I 
I think tattoos are just like an easy topic started to. I don't know how annoying it is for people who have tattoos to like talk about it, but it's automatically something to talk about, you know? It also makes you like 10 times more attractive, <laughs> let's be honest. Like if you see someone with a sleeve, oh my god, it automatically go up two numbers, you know? Go from 5 to 7, 8 to 10, easy clap. Another question. That recent experience made you feel old. I'm not that old, so I find this question offensive. Of all the random questions, why this one? I think, like, a recent, a kind of recentest trend online is where people are like, oh, do you remember this song? Feel old yet? And it's a, like a pop song from like five years ago. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? Not even that old. Just because you were five when it came out and you're 12 does not mean it's old, sir. Why did I say sir? I should have said child. Because they're still a literal child if they're 12. Got some coal. 9.40, so time to go home. We got some honey. Ooh, we can gift honey to everybody tomorrow. We got some honey.
I was gonna say tomorrow we can go into not the mines, but uh, process some geodes. But we don't have we have literally no money, so we can't we can't do that. Okay, so ready for tomorrow. It's Friday, so we're gonna be focusing on gifting people stuff. Let me just kick my cat out of the way. Just kidding, don't abuse your animals. Oh, it's still raining. Sheesh. Yeah, nothing's grown yet. Obvi. out before I go into town because people usually don't get into town before evening anyway. Okay, it's got a question, Kino. How would you describe your sense of humor? Can you give an example? <laughs> um, I think my humor in general is very sarcastic or verbally ironic to be literally liter <laughs> like literacy <laughs> literally correct um i really like edgy stuff i think my sense of humor has evolved over time but it has not evolved past that looking back that's i have the, a very similar sense of humor to my dad like it's really funny because I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to, like, get better at, like, being witty and, like, making, like, getting better at, like, commentary. So, like, he's really... We were talking the other day. And, like, he was setting up for a joke. And there was, like, two, like, responses I could have given. One was, like, really dark. And the other was more of, like, a social critique. And I gave the dark answer. He's like, oh, you're getting better. I was like, yeah, I'm getting better. an example of them. Like, I don't have pre-made bits. I'm more like... Because I think, like, really good commentary you have to be able to, like, make on the fly unless it's, like, a scripted bit. Like, i.e., like, a stand-up special or a routine or something. I, <laughs> an example from the other day, I was in my sister's room because I was helping her with, like, her chores. And she was watching One Piece, like one of the films, and <laughs> she she paused it when I came there because she didn't want me to like watch it. Um, <laughs> but because I she had hesitance, so I couldn't hear the audio, and it it was one movie when they were like in a desert setting, and like I'd pause it and like make jokes. And what was one of them? Like I paused it, and I said, "Hey, where's the green guy?" <laughs> She's like, "I don't know." And then, like, five seconds later, when he showed up, I was like, oh, there he is. <laughs> and she was getting, like, annoyed, but, like, she was still laughing. And then I paused in a frame where I had a camel. And I was like, hey, you see that? She's like, what? And then I pressed play again. And then I paused and I was like, hey, that camel looks mad. <laughs> and then she... <laughs> it's, it's, it's such, like, a dumb bit. But just, like, timing and delivery is so important when you're doing, like, bits. I 
I think what a lot of people will like fall into a pitfall of is using cursing as like comedy when it's not necessarily like the actual vulgarity is what's funny it's more like your delivery of it in terms of like timing or like your enunciation of saying it kind of like how you see the meme edits of like really what how do i word it <clears throat> where like the audio is like way too loud to the point where it sounds muffled like if you don't have the noise gate on kind of like that I know that meme edit is really, like, in right now. Because, like, the sound isn't funny. It's more so, like, the timing of the sound, you know, that makes it funny. We need to make sure we plant some spring seeds by the end of this week. That way they're done by the time of next week. That we can hopefully get the leak mission done in time. we're not going to find many leaks naturally. I wish the mission was for these so much easier because these spawn a lot quicker than the freaking leaks. Okay, let's start delivering our presents now. I think everyone except for Caroline is going to be inside the bar at this time. Oh, and then Haley too. Haley should be home. Oh yeah, Kent's gonna be at the bar. Usually he's just outside brooding. Does Haley like honey? Nice! She likes honey! It's hard to find stuff that Haley likes because she's such a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, it's open till 3. Frick! Yeah, I don't think Caroline's gonna be here. Oh, there she is. Never mind. We actually caught her. Okay, I wonder where Penny is. She's she might be at the library. Oh, she's home. Cool. And then Pam's gonna be at the bar. Yeah, every, everyone else is going to be at the bar. Oh, except for the elderly couple. Give them blueberries. Okay, George does not like blueberries. Evelyn's indifferent. We're going to go up and deliver to um, the cave guy and Linus, and then pop back down to the bar. Oh, we also need to visit the Sewer too, because we can gift the sewer guy. I I can never find Maru either. 
But she usually stays home or she works at the doctor's office. It's open till six or five. Till six, I guess. Cool. Oh, bad. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't like honey. I was gonna say or fruit, but I guess George doesn't like fruit. I rolled my eyes, but you can't really tell. This guy looks honey. I guess. Maybe. Possibly. You like honey? I guess he hates honey. Hey, okay, whatever. More for me, I guess. Everyone should be at the bar at this point, except for maybe Clint. The doctor's here, finally! He's usually not here. Abigail still here, nice. The W. Oh, the artist guy is not here. We're not artist guy, he's a writer. <laughs> Lay is the artist. Okay, let's see, did we miss anyone? Darn, she's not gonna come out. Bailey, we got today. Oh, Lewis is not here. Ooh, what are Lewis and Marty doing? Hmm. Oh, Kent's not here either. Okay, so the only person we have left to gift is the sewer guy, because everyone else is not going to come out of the house, because it's already 8 o'clock. That's a error on my end. I apologize. Okay, time to go home. There's nothing much left to do for today. Besides maybe chop some trees, because we got a little bit of energy left.
I should have planted the trees nicer because that's going to be a pain. An absolute pain. I'm trying to walk through later. Ooh, we got some iridium. Nice. I was just going to say, sheesh, that diamond. Taking forever. Apparently, that was actually iridium. Hey, Pod. Do I have any seeds? Let's plant more seeds here. Try and plant them in a way in which it's not like I can have like a clear path that I can walk through. Okay, so some plants might be ready by the end of the day tomorrow. We might get hardwood from this tree. Yo! Ooh, 11 hardwood! Sheesh! See what we need for spring seeds. I need to get those started. A horseradish daffodil leaf dandelion. Oh, I don't have many dandelions, huh? Badge. I'm going to put those in the fruit section because those are obviously fruit. You ready to go for tomorrow? So tomorrow we're either going to do some more mining or see if we can forge some more. Or maybe get some wood. I don't know. We'll see. So I actually need to pause here and go feed our wood stove. So I'll be right back. Yo. Ooh, I just gotta chill. Emily wants an apricot. Oh, 
sheesh! There's a lot of seeds. Probably grab some more. Garlic and parsnip seeds. I think it's nice how the fertilizer will stay in the soil. Very helpful. I'm gonna get the spring seeds planted first. Hopefully get some more leeks. From this. We probably won't get many, but hopefully enough. Let's go ahead. We're probably gonna plant more seeds here, because the trees are growing incredibly fast. Which is nice to see. Because we don't have nearly enough money to start our orchard yet. Which is fine, because we have the fruit I believe we need for the comp center in the back cave, so that's not a big deal. No biggie. Let's get another question queued up. You had to describe your current life as a movie. Which movie would you choose? Day after tomorrow. Just disaster after disaster, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't watch many movies. I can't pinpoint one right now. It's probably gonna be some like cringy coming age story. I think because, like, I didn't have, like, a best best friend when I was in school. So, like, I think I'm finally figuring out, like, who I am and what I want to do. And I think being online helped me discover that. Also, the fact that we're still in a global pandemic, you know. Disasters just looming around the corner. Definitely need more hardwood. Saturday. I kind of want to see if I can buy more feed. But I'm not sure if she's open today. Oh, I actually need to build my fences too. So I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see if we can buy more feed. <clears throat> and then build our fences here. I also need to remember to hold on to my honey jars too, that way we, we can preserve them.
Okay, let's hope she's there. Let's hope she's open. If not, I will cry. She's actually open, thank god. Here. Let's get another question queued up. Who in your family can't you believe you're related to? What the fuck does that mean? Why, why are some of the questions just trying to like get me to air bad laundry? Like, what is this? Trying to expose my secrets and like trying to like tell which family member I indirectly do not like the most? Like, what the fuck, man? Um, how about I just not answer this? <laughs> I don't want to be kicked out, you know? Seems kind of sus. I realize I should be saving money to upgrade my house, huh? <laughs> Oops. I feel like there's something here. There has to be something there. I'll have to look that up at some point. Got another question. I'm pausing because I don't want to get attacked. Where is the strangest place you've fallen asleep? <clears throat> Let's see. I think recently on the floor of a motel. <laughs> because when we were in our Eastern Washington trip, we stayed overnight. And it was in this rinky ass dingy motel, right? Because it's a small Eastern Washington town, right? And the only room they had available was a single bed, and like I don't want, I don't like sharing beds with people, unless like you're my partner. So like I I I try to sleep on this this is dirty ass wooden chair, but I'll, I couldn't fall asleep on the chair because like it was too uncomfortable. Like I just slept on the floor, like I put a blanket down so I wouldn't be like on the floor, and like the carpet smelled like shit, like absolute shit. It was not comfortable. Because, like, hotel or, like, motel, especially motel rooms are fucking... When you, like, think about it, it it's not <laughs> fun to think about. Like, you can only think about, like, how many fluids are, like, on surfaces. You know what I mean? Let's make some fences. I believe I have. Yeah, I do have stone fences. I'm gonna figure out the best way to place stuff.
think it needs a pickaxe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Search. See, I think for the gate, I need wood. Here we go. Okay, cool. Now they can walk about. See what we need to make more preserve jars? Okay, so it's earth crystal. Wood. What else? <laughs> I totally blanked it. Copper bar, hardwood. Let's get more copper bars started. Okay, we gotta wait for our copper bars to get started, so let's go plant our seeds while we're waiting. I'm just gonna plant them in every single nook and cranny and just make sure I have like a defined pathway to walk through. Planting trees, Mr. Beast, planting trees. <laughs> okay, we should have enough copper bars to craft the rest of those. Oh, I can't move this unless they empty it. That's okay, I guess. Oh, frick. Oh, 
I'll have to rearrange these later. There we go. Definitely have to rearrange these later. I don't feel like doing it now, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in here. It's 110. We have a little bit of time left. Okay, let's drop up these jars. I'm gonna move these up. That way they're ready for tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I think I want to mine. Now we can finish off the week with a bit more coal. Because we definitely have enough wood to... Ooh, that was like 7k! We definitely have enough wood to upgrade our house now. We just need to make sure we have enough money. Okay, we get... Pizza, oh, dude. I've been craving pizza. Like, I have been dying to have some pizza. <laughs> oh, fucking crows, mate. Oh, I thought potatoes kept producing. Oh, fuck me, dude. I want to buy more seeds, but, like, I can't afford that right now. Like, I want to see about to get the house first. I'm gonna rearrange these now. Cause like last night I just wanted to make sure I had them all in. Okay, there we go. Thank you. 
Okay, I need two eggs. We don't have any milk. Okay, let's drop off our items and then we can start mining. Okay, let's get to mining, guys. I think I should move the gates up a little bit. Got another leak? Nice. Let's get a question, Kira. What do you think is the most complex aspect about yourself? Oh, dude, why, why so many, like, personal questions today? Like, what is up with this? Huh? I think... Because mm. I'm very, like, special. No, <laughs> what the... Okay. I'm very, like, cautious of how I interact with people, I would say. Like, I'm very wary of what I say. And I know, like, I'm very... Like, I'll make jokes and stuff, but, like, when I'm not joking, I'm very careful of what I say, I guess. So I think it takes a bit to, like, get to know the real me, I guess. Because I'm very careful of what I share. Because I don't want to, like, be too personal. Like, I don't want to, like, leak too much, I guess. Especially with stuff you post online, like... I think it takes a bit to, like, know what I can do for you. I, I, such a weird question. Like, I'm not, like, too crazy. No, not cra crazy. Crazy is not the right word. But, like, I'm not too complex. Like, I'm pretty, like... Forward. Like, there's a reason why I act the way I do. Like, you can draw the lines. Like, if you look at basic psych, you can understand why I act the way I do. Just based on, like, past experiences and traumas, that type of thing. Like, that is pretty straightforward. But that's only when, like, you know the whole picture, I guess. Let's do another question because that one sucked. Are there any words you simply simply can't stand? Moist. I know that one is a cliche one. I don't think there's like any word that I hate. Like in particular, I just don't like any words that have too many like consonants that are like too that are like too long, I guess. Like, I don't get offended, or get offended on behalf of people when, like, offensive terms are used. Because I'm very much, like, I understand, like, there's certain, like, et etymology to words, there's certain, like, connotation to words and such. But also, I'm very much, like, people can say whatever you want. Just keep in mind that not everyone will like what you have to say. So, like, if you're gonna say, like, a certain word, or, like, a slur, for example, keep in mind that people will be critical as they see fit to it, I guess. Not necessarily saying that people should get, like, hate or, like, excessive belittle belittling or, like, criticism for saying something. But just be mindful, especially with the increase of the digital age, people- it's a lot easier to access what you say. Because you have full control, typically, on what you post online, so you have full control on what you share. And just because you have that 
ease of access to people does not mean you should post stuff without taking into consideration what people think. And also, you should also be wary of what you say in response to stuff. Because, like, once something is online, it's there forever. So, like, if I say, like, a cringy take from five years ago and I delete it right away, it's still going to be on, like, some type of online archive somewhere, right? I remember when I was younger, like junior high, I used to be so against cursing. Like, I remember in elementary school, I was having like a mini fight with my friend because I was like... No, they were like, stupid is a bad word. And I'm like, no it's not. You know, mm. Like that kind of like petty shit. But like, everyone has their own feelings about a certain words. And if someone expresses that they don't like hearing a certain word, like if it's a friend comes to you like, hey, you know, I don't like the word bitch and I'll be like okay I'll respect that you know because everyone has their own personal I guess boundaries on what's okay and what's not and especially if it's a friend you should be able to respect those boundaries right and I'm very much like if you don't like a person using like certain language for like creators then just don't watch the content find someone else because, especially for like internet personalities, it's a niche thing, right? So like, if it's not your niche, then don't watch it. Other people will like it, that doesn't mean you have to like it or... Or consume it your own, like, you're choosing where to spend your time. And if you're choosing to spend your line, like, just being, like, hateful, then what does that say about you, right? Like, I'm kind of trolly with my comments. Like, I'll make jokes and, like, little jabs, but like, I'm not doing anything that's, like, really mean and like I tell my friends like if I'm being like too jokey or too trolly like tell me like if you're having a bad day like tell me like I don't want to push you past a breaking point right because there's like a time and place for jokes Oh, it's Sunday already. Sheesh. Bernie's looking pretty alright. I mean, my tools are fairly upgraded. I have both bards. Not fully upgraded, but they're full enough. I have one of each animal, so that's on track. I just need to start filling in the comm center. Like, I have a list of every single item that I need. I just need to start filling it up. Going back to like, people can say whatever you, they want. I think there's also like an exemption to where like if someone's being like hateful or like prejudiced, then that's not okay. Like you do have your freedom of speech in the states, but also with your freedom of speech you cannot be limiting the rights of other people. Is what I mean. Like, just because you think you have rights does not make it okay to take away someone else's. Just enough energy. Nice. I say I say nice a lot and it's so cringe. But it's like what else can I say? Great? Cool. Another positive exclamation.
Did I check this already? I can't remember if I did. I guess I did. Rip. Okay, what do I need to make beehives? Iron bar, maple syrup. Coal. I need wood. Ah, uh, yo. So we can sell the rest of our items and then we are ready to go for the following week. Yeah, so then we just have to make sure we start up with our weekly mission and then probably just more either gathering wood or mining. So we need to make sure we get up that coal. Ooh! Up so in case we can upgrade the house too. Okay, go ahead. Leave here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here. So I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST, with more Stardew Valley. Okay. So I hope everyone has a great day, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.